This is breaking news from the 7 Action Newsroom. 531, we do continue to follow breaking news. An explosion overnight shuts down I-75 near Outer Drive right on the Detroit-Lincoln Park border. Yeah, we're hearing a tanker and several vehicles are involved. Let's go straight to 7 Action News reporter Nima Shafe, who is live on the scene. Nima. Malcolm and Alicia, good morning. We're live in Lincoln Park at I-75 and Outer Drive. Behind me, it is a scene that looks like it's clear, but far from it. Live pictures now, if you will, of I-75 here at Outer Drive. Photojournalist Mike Crotchy behind the camera giving you these live pictures. I'll tell you that th we have gotten new information as it pertains to this accident. We've learned that at this point, we believe it is one uh, vehicle involved, which is a, a tanker of some sort. There was an individual we've learned from sources that was taken to a nearby hospital in uh, critical condition, burned 90 percent of their body. At this point, the, uh, the source tells me they believe it is a man. Uh, this happening just around 3 o'clock this morning, forcing a total closure of both sides of northbound and southbound 75 here in the area of Lincoln Park. A group effort, if you will, on behalf of the firefighters from Melvindale, Dearborn, Lincoln Park, Southgate, all coming together here, but really their hands were tied until this fire got under control. We actually caught up with one gentleman who says the explosions rocked his house. Take a listen. I heard a big explosion that shook the house, and that's when I opened up the door. I heard four more explosions, and then when I got in the car to find out where it was coming from, I saw the, the blaze of fire coming the opposite way, so I thought it was a gas station. I called 911 immediately, drove up to the BP gas station, and I noticed that there was probably a good 100 feet distance of fire, and fire to the air, you know, it lit up the whole sky. And to put this into perspective, I'm actually going to show you guys this live. Is where I'm standing now is just feet from the front door of this BP gas station here off Outer Drive. When this explosion occurred, it rocked this gas station so much that the clerk inside tells me his car alarm went off. So there's an indication there. He also told me this is very, uh, you can, I, I consider this cool. He told me that the uh, EMS first responders that were inside the ambulance here in this parking lot immediately jumped out of the rig and ran up there to see what they could do to help out. Of course, it's part of their job, but nonetheless, he said they were very courageous and brave, and we agree. Of course, to get you around this mess, this is a major freeway here in the area in southeast Michigan. To get you around this, we have Anne Marie Laflame that's back at Broadcast House with a look at how you can get around this. And Anne Marie, of course, the rain, not, uh, not our friend this morning either. Yeah, we're having some flooding issues out there as well. Good work, Mike and Nima out there this morning. So just a refresher here, that tanker fire has 75 south Southbound closed at Schaefer, northbound at Southfield Road. It's about a three mile stretch of road we have closed this morning. So take a look at some alternate routes. Fourth Street's definitely going to be your best bet this morning to avoid 75, and you can hop on at Schaefer or Southfield. If you're going to get off at Southfield this morning, 